all my dears in a new very useful graphic design tutorial so before we begin to explain if you don't have the software installed in your machine you can see the first link in the description and you can download the last version of Adobe Photoshop for free the same thing with the resources and images used in this tutorial you will find them in the second link in the description so we begin by creating a new blank document with these dimensions standard dimensions for creating a YouTube channel art or a YouTube banner like you can see these are the dimensions the standard dimensions so we unlock the background layer first and we create a new empty layer we will use the rectangle tool to create a sort of So like you can see, we create a rectangle, we will change its color and we will try to make it in the center of our document. We will use a very professional technique to divide our documents. We will create another second rectangle with these dimensions, like you can notice here. So using these rectangles will help us to divide our documents in unequal parts. We will center the second rectangle in the center of the first one. So we go to view rollers and we will hold the guides. We will create these four guides like you can see here. We will create a third one, a third rectangle. These are the dimensions for this one, this third one. And we will change, of course, its color to make it, to make it appear. And we will center it in the center of the second one using the same technique. And we will hold these two two new guides like you can see here for now we don't need any more of these three rectangles we delete them and like you can see we divide our documents in unequal parts very professionally using this technique it's very interesting in so many graphic design jobs so every graphic designer should masterize this technique to divide to divide its documents of course so we will use this background we convert it to smart objects and using ctrl t from the keyboard we resize it and we scale it until until it is convenient with our dimensions we try to make it appear at the center of our documents So we will use a brightness and contrast adjustments and using Ctrl G we create a copy of the background of the background image and we go to filter blur we will use the Gaussian blur we will use something like 20 pixel and we don't need all these parts with the Gaussian blur so we will go to this layer at the top and we go to the selection tool and we will select just the rectangle at the center like you can see and we create a layer mask so we create now a new layer we will zoom in and we will use the pen tool to draw a new shape like you can see I think now you can understand why we use the technique of dividing our documents using the guide lines as the first sign because it helps us keep everything equal in distance between shapes and between 
between the background, between the shapes we will create and between the images we will use, of course. So when the distance is equal when, uh, between every object in your graphic design, it gives us a professional graphic design and uh, of course a very handy and sweet work. So now we go to transform, we flip vertically our shape. We will change the color using the eyedropper tool to the pink one. And with the same technique, we will change the color of the first shape to a dark blue. We will try to pick the blue color from the background. Like you can see, we will try this one or something more darker. Like you can notice here, we will choose this darker one here. All right. So for now, we will create a new rectangle with these new dimensions in a new layer. Of course, we will try to move it to the center as the first time. And for this one, we will try to apply a gradient color using the pink and the blue. The blue color, we go to the first color here, double click, and we use the eyedropper tool. We pick the blue color, and with the same technique, we pick the pink color here. So the two colors are, are in place. Uh, so now we can change the location to 100, we click OK. And for now, we can adjust the settings of the... We can adjust, of course, the settings of the gradient we apply to the rectangle, we place it here. And using Ctrl T, we apply a rotation. We choose to use the, the zoom tool. And we move the edges of the rectangle and we will try to make them in the right place like you can see here so now everything is okay so we come back to our selection our like layer mask if you remember the first layer mask we use so we go to this layer and using the control key from the keyboard with a click we get our selection back so we come back to our new rectangle and we create a layer mask like you can notice here. So now using Ctrl G from the keyboard, we create a copy of this rectangle. We will move it to the right, like you can see here. The techniques are so simple, but you can notice the importance of using the guide lines give us everything proportional and equal in terms of distance which is very useful very crucial in every graphic professional graphic design so now we create we will create a third rectangle which will be in the center we try to move it here Using Ctrl T from the keyboard, we will try to make a little rotation and scale it to place it in the right place. We resize it a little, like you can see here. We scale it a little. We try to make this third one at the center of our graphic, of our documents, of course, of our graphic design, our banner. And the two, the two others, the one at the right and the one at the left, will be.
So we use the same technique and we reselect the the all the earlier rectangle we select and we come back to our new one and using the same technique the layer mask we crop it under our design like you can see here so now we will try to scale it using of course like every time we use ctrl t from the keyboard to scale any shape so now we get everything okay like you can see we try just to move the two other rectangles to make the distance equal between them and the one in the center so now I think the results is great maybe we can add just a little adjustment here in terms of course of the distance So now we go to, to open the image we will use in the center of our banner. So this is the image we will use. You will find it in the link in the description in the resources to download. So we place it here. So we place the image just at, at the top of our layer. Double right click on it and we choose create a clipper mask and using ctrl t from the keyboard we scale our image like you can see we scale our image and uh, we resize it to make it at the right place like you can see here We confirm and we use the same technique we copy the image and we go to the second rectangle we paste it we create a clipping mask and using of course ctrl c from the keyboard the same technique with the third rectangle creates a clipping mask so the technique is simple we copy the image and we paste it as the top of every of each rectangle the third the three rectangles and we create a clipping mask after that we use the ctrl t from the keyboard to scale and resize the image and we play with the three images to get the, the this very wonderful effect this sliced effect like you can see so for now we create a new layer we draw another time a fourth rectangle So we select the rectangle, we use Ctrl T, we scale the shape, like you can notice here, we scale the shape. Just to remember you for the background and the images I used in this tutorial, you will find them in the second link in the description. For the first link in the description, you will find the, the software, the Adobe Photoshop, the last version of it for free. You can install it for free. It is safe and, uh, and clean, crack it, of course. And second link in the description, you will find every resources and images I used in every tutorial in my channel. So for every tutorial, I place all the resources, the images, the shapes, the, the brushes, the fonts. If, if they are used in the tutorial, I place them all in the resources to ASD, to make them ASD downloaded, of course. So we create the first rectangle with the same technique. We crop it using the layer mask and we hide it under under the rectangle and the image at the left 
we continue using of course the same technique we used earlier so we go to effects we will choose a gradient overlay effects we will apply the gradient using the blue and the pink color this time we used a darker blue one a darker blue color like you can see here we will play a little with the angle the angle of the gradient overlay we click ok like you can see here so we will need another one in the in the right part like you can see so using ctrl G we create a copy of the rectangle so all we have to do now we will we will go to edit transform and we will flip it of course vertically transform flip or we will try to use the rotation 180 degree we will place the rectangle at the right place we will change the to we choose to reverse of course the gradient in this second one to get a little difference between the two just a term of of making the, the graphic design more wonderful and for now I will speed up a little the explanation because it will not be nothing new here we will choose to create a, a text layer so ctrl g we duplicate the text layer for the font i use the britannic bold font so here create a new layer we will drop a circle using of course the shift key from the keyboard to get a right circle so for the color I think I will choose the blue one here the blue color I already used in my design so I will use the a dropper tool to get this blue color here like you can see so this is the circle which will contains the social media icons okay so for now i will go to open this ei documents which contains all the social media icons you will find it also in the second link in the description you can download this resources for free of course to apply this tutorial so using the selection tool i select this icon So I will resize it of course before that I go to effects and color overlay I will choose the white color or the pink color of course and using ctrl T from the keyboard I will scale my icon to make it accurate with the circle I will make the circle a little bigger I place the icon here I choose the two together using the control key from the keyboard I select the two I mean the circle and the icon and I resize them I make them the two smaller so nothing of course new here just a term of copy paste of the objects and placing the text in the right place it should be so it depends on you and your your way or your vision of course where to place the circles the icons the text of course because it's nothing new here or nothing difficult to explain here I speed up a little explanation we don't make you feel boring of course 
like you can see using the grid lines helped us a lot to get a professional design using the grid lines and using the rectangles the first time I mean at the beginning of this tutorial we use the rectangles to make these grid lines look great and uh, it helped us a lot to get proportions and to get everything equal in our design so we crop finally our design and look like you can see we get a very professional result so thank you for viewing this tutorial and i wish if you subscribe and encourage me with a like i will be every time with you